All right, in this video, I just want to look at deriving uh, a few more identities from known identities. So I think in the last video, we, uh, we stopped with these four identities. So I'm going to come up with a, a few others. So we can look at tangent. Um, let's say tangent of x plus y. Well, tangent of x plus y, that's just sine of x plus y over cosine of x plus y. And now I'll just use our identities from up here. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of space here. So sine of x plus y, that's just sine x times cosine y uh, plus cosine x times sine y. And then cosine of x plus y, that'll be cosine x, cosine y. And if there's a plus, remember here we use a minus sign. And then we have sine x, sine y. OK, so, well, that's one way to evaluate it. Usually, they'll simplify this. And the way that the, uh, you typically see it simplified is what we're going to do is we're actually going to multiply the uh, numerator by 1 over cosine x, cosine y. Try to squeeze it in there. Which means, well, we've got to do the same thing to the denominator. 1 over cosine x times cosine y. So maybe let's just write all this out. So if we distribute, well, we would have sine x cosine y over cosine x times cosine y plus, and when we distribute again, we'll have cosine x sine y, uh, and then we have to divide by cosine x cosine y. And well, we'll do the same thing in the denominator. So we've got cosine x, cosine y over cosine x uh, by cosine y, minus we've got sine x, sine y over cosine x, cosine y. Whew, OK, a lot of sine and cosines. All we're going to do at this point now is just, uh, just, just simplify. Uh, notice in the numerator in the first term, the cosine y's just cancel, and all we're left with is sine over cosine. Well, that's just tangent of x plus, in the second term, uh, the cosine x's will cancel. We've got sine y over cosine y, which is going to be tangent um, y. In the denominator, you know, cosine x over cosine x is 1, cosine y over cosine y is 1. Uh, so we'll just have a 1 there. And then again, sine over uh, sine x over cosine x is going to be tangent x. And then we have sine y over cosine y, which is going to be tangent y. And that's typically the identity that you'll see. Okay? This is how you'll uh, a lot of times see the identity for tangent of x plus y. So yet another identity just by remembering a couple others and doing a little bit of algebra. So one other thing we can point out too, notice if there had been a minus sign in here, well, they would have both been minus signs. Well, this would have turned into a negative. The denominator would have turned into a positive, and really that's the only difference that would have occurred. So this would have turned into a negative, this would have turned into a positive, and that's what would have happened if we had had a negative sign in there originally. So you can basically, uh, you know, you can always check that. You can do the exact same thing that we did. Uh, you can find the identity for tangent of x minus y doing the exact same thing. All right, so hey, there are some uh, two more identities. that This one to me you don't see that often, at least in a calculus class. Um, but, you know, you do see it periodically. So um, let's look at a couple others. Uh, let's find an identity for sine of 2x. So definitely a very, uh, a very common identity. Uh, very you'd want to be familiar with this identity. Certainly use it all the time. Well, the idea is we can write sine of 2x. We can just simply write that as x plus x. And now we're just going to use our, uh, our identity from up here. So we've got x plus, instead of y, we'll just have x plus x. So that'll give us sine x times cosine x. I'm just using the very top identity. Plus cosine x times sine x. Well, we've got a sine times a cosine, a sine times a cosine. So really, we have 2 sine x, cosine x, 
And there's another identity uh, that, that you would want to know. So here's our identity for sine of 2x. All right, I'm going to do uh, three other ones here real quick. Well, we figured out an identity for sine of 2x. Let's look at cosine of 2x. Well, we can do the same thing. We can write cosine of 2x as cosine of x plus x. And again, let's go back to our, to our identities up here. Okay, so now it says instead of x plus y, we've got, you know, x plus x. So that'll give us cosine x times, well, another cosine x. Again, if it's a plus, we use a minus. And then we'll have sine x times sine x. And typically, we'll just simply rewrite this as cosine squared x minus sine squared x. So there's yet um, another identity for in this case for cosine of 2x. Well, let's play with this identity a little bit and get two others from it. Okay. So typically with a sine of 2x, you only see this, you know, we see this one identity. Sine of 2x is 2 sine x cosine x, but for cosine of 2x, there's a kind of three identities associated with it. Okay, so we said cosine of 2x is just going to be cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Remember, if there's a plus in between, that equals 1, so definitely a big difference. But we're actually going to use uh, the very first identity we talked about, which is cosine squared x, well, plus sine squared x equals 1. And what we're going to do is, in, in the first case, I'm going to solve for cosine squared. So we'll get cosine squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x. Well, what I'm going to do to create yet another identity for cosine of 2x is I can replace the cosine squared with the 1 minus sine squared. So really, uh, I'm going to have 1 minus sine squared x minus sine squared x. And that's going to give us 1 minus 2 sine squared x. That's another um, identity for cosine of 2x. And again, we can do the exact same thing. Instead of solving for cosine squared, we could have equivalently solved for sine squared. So we could say, well, sine squared x is going to be 1 minus cosine squared x. And now we can do the same thing. We've got our identity cosine of 2x. That's going to be, well, uh, cosine squared x minus sine squared. Sine squared, again, is 1 minus cosine squared x. You know, notice, too, I didn't use parentheses in the, the first time just because it was the first term. Here I'm recognizing I'm definitely going to have to distribute out this negative sign. So be careful about that. Um, just a little thing to point out. So, okay, in this case, well, you've really got cosine squared x minus 1, we'll distribute the negative and get plus cosine squared x. Um, well, in this case, now we've got cosine squared and cosine squared, which is going to be 2 cosine squared x minus 1. And now we have yet another identity for cosine of 2x. Okay, So three identities associated with cosine of 2x. Um, kind of got them all boxed in here as well. Or got them all boxed in. Um, sine of 2x, again, we said that that's just 2 sine x cosine x. Uh, and again, all you're really doing uh, to derive these, uh, you know, just again, you know, in summary, all I really did was I'm just making use of these identities, and then I'm just playing also with a uh, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. I'm using these, you know, I guess five identities to produce another uh, 1, 2, you know, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so uh, quite a few identities, again, just by knowing a handful.